So it's time to make another video about my 2013 G63 that I've been fixing up. I've made a bit of progress on it. Uh, I'll give you guys a bit of an update since the last time you've seen it. I actually found another set of wheels that are were the same ones as what was on there before. But these were pretty much new takeoffs. The previous owner removed them and then installed aftermarket wheels. So I picked these up for pretty cheap. Um, and uh, they have, they don't have any curb rash or any clear coat peeling. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, took this thing to a different shop for an alignment. Um, they went through the front suspension. They couldn't really find anything wrong with the suspension. The only thing they recommended I replace was the drag link, which I brought with me since I already had it. So they just put it in for me, charged me uh, like not even an hour labor and put the drag link in and they were able to uh, do the alignment no problem now this thing drives down the road nice and straight um so now i've received some more parts i've been waiting on so just time to address a few small issues like for example this uh, headlight is cracked so i was actually uh, first i was just gonna buy a used headlight but then i came across a company selling glass lenses so I ordered the lens, which just came in. And then I think I mentioned it before, the horns weren't working for whatever reason. Well, I actually found the, I think I found the reason, which I'll show you guys later, because I'm going to go ahead and pull the grill off and pull the headlight bezels off so um, I can replace the horns and I can replace the uh, that headlight lens. So I'll show you some of the parts that showed up. So here's a used set of horns. I'm going to test these first just with my with a battery just to make sure that they actually work. Um, this is the antenna receiver. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys in uh, in a previous video, but my my old one was pretty corroded and it kind of fell apart. So that's the reason why the uh, the key doesn't work like when it, when you press nothing happens. It doesn't lock or unlock you actually have to point the key at the door where the the ir receiver is and then it'll lock it'll lock and unlock no problem um so the uh the antenna receiver well the antenna itself is here on the windshield it's kind of hard to see but you can kind of see there's a couple lines here um, so that's your actual antenna for your key and then it kind of goes down into the dash there So I don't know if there was a water intrusion issue or what happened, but it definitely uh, got corroded and uh, Fell apart. Let me grab it and I'll show you guys what happened to it All right, so here's the old one that uh, that I took out and uh, if you have a look here where that uh, purple connector is it is corroded and it's corroded on this end too and actually the issue that i had was when i when i was trying to take this connector out the purple wire the connector actually broke so um i don't know what i'm gonna do about that because now i've just got two wires on the car side and obviously uh this new one um it needs some needs the connector to go in there for it to work properly so I need to figure that out um, I might try to trace that wire that purple wire down it seems to go up the pillar somewhere I don't know where it goes I think that's the power supply because the black wire that's the uh, the windshield antenna so this purple one i think that's your can or the signal or whatever so once this thing gets the signal that's where it sends the signal out to um so anyway i'll figure that out and what else do we got so we i also found a set of some uh, parking sensors which are actually painted black um i mentioned in my previous video that my uh, the rear parking sensors weren't working so i'm going to take the bumper off and uh, get to those and they also got a set of these uh backup lamps um which are kind of led backup lamps and they kind of they, i think they match my uh my taillights pretty well so so there's two of them and what happens is 
they replace the, uh, the reverse light and the fog light with these two matching ones. Um, and you can see, I'm pretty sure these are the same as my tail lights. So I figured since I'm taking the bumper off anyway, I might as well put, uh, put these in and, uh, and I'll show you guys how to do that. But for today, I think what we'll do is, uh, we'll take the, the grill off the headlight bezels and, uh, try to get the horns working at least. Oh, and I also got a new steering wheel too, because this uh, old steering wheel is kind of worn. Um, so I found a steering wheel that somebody took off. So we'll go ahead and uh, replace this one because it's worn on the side here. So we'll go through that too. All right, so I've got the, uh, got some test test wires hooked up here and let's try out these new horns that we've got um, just to make sure yeah, so this one works I've removed before when I was trying to figure out the issue. As you can see, this one does nothing. So, anyway. So the new horns work, so the way to get at them is You've got four 10 millimeter bolts up here, you remove those. And then the headlight bezels. The, uh, the headlight bezels, they've got two Phillips head screws down at the bottom here. So we pull these out. somewhere which is a big deal and then what you've got here is you've got um, a hose clamp which holds the, uh, the hose for your headlight washer um, which ideally you'll want to remove but you can kind of push it out of the way enough just so that you can uh, you can get the headlight out and then you can lift the grill out. So, we'll do the same thing on this side. Now, the horns are just in there. It's actually funny, you can see that this is the, the GPS antenna. For whatever reason, that's where they decided to put it. I don't know why, but anyway. So, you've got one horn here, and then the other goes there. But obviously, I've removed the old one before. Now, the reason why I think these failed in the first place is when I took this apart the first time, I noticed this wire, it was actually rubbing on this bracket here for your AC condenser, and it had rubbed through and it looks like it shorted out. So 
I don't see why else these horns would have failed because neither one of them works. Um, but in any event, that's where we're at. So let's try and uh, put one of the new ones in. So I'll put this side in first and hook it up and we'll test it out and see if it works or not. So we've got one side working. So let's pull the other one off and uh, we'll get check the other side. These are just uh, 10 mil nuts holding these on. I noticed is actually I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be hooked up but they look to be hooked up backwards so I'm gonna hook it up the way the old one was and see if that works but it looks to me like they may need to be the wires may need to be switched around They both work, so that must be the way the wires go. So we'll put the nut back in, and uh, that should be good enough. And now I can drive around with Honka because I can. Also notice this uh, rope bezel sometimes it looks like it's trying to pop out which it looks like it's just not clipped in properly.
tighten the other horn up. And then we'll go ahead and pull this headlight up. Headlight out. It looks like we've got a 10 mil and then there's a couple torque screws. Anyway, so now we've got the headlight out. So to get this lens off, I think what I'll probably do is warm it up in the oven. The same way everybody usually gets their lenses off their headlights because I think it's just glued in place because the new lens came with, uh, with new glue. So um, let's get the oven warmed up. We'll put this thing in there. And then we'll see if we can get this lens off. Okay, so I've gotten the headlight and then here's the new replacement lens that I got. Um, now to get the headlight ready, what I did was I removed the bulb and I also unscrewed the ballast itself. It just unscrews and pops off there. So a couple of things to note on the original headlight, you can see there's writing on the bottom. On this replacement lens there is no writing um, and also so the way you kind of the thing is orientated there are little tabs in the that are actually in the glass so there's three tabs so if you take note of those and then if you note the head the lens itself this ledge on top oh my oven's ready so this ledge on top is is larger than it is on the bottom so when you have a look at your new one, you just kind of line it up. Once we're ready to put it on, you got to put it on the same way. So you got to make sure that your notches line up because you can see those are the notches there. So the way I kind of found guys do it, they take a block of wood, put it in the oven and put the headlight on top of the wood. That way the plastic won't melt on the grate. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll take our piece of wood. We'll take our headlights, which is a little wet now. So you kind of really want it touching anything inside. 
so it doesn't melt. Okay, so I've got it in there just like that. It looks like it's clearing everything. Maybe I'll move it over just a tad. All right, so it's in there. So when it says to leave it in there for about 14 minutes. All right, so this is now the next day. Um, I messed around with the headlight yesterday and couldn't really get the lens to come off. I had part of it broke off so I decided to call it quits for the night and uh, did a little bit more research and some guys they're saying that uh, you should uh, heat them up to about 250 to 275 Fahrenheit I was only uh, heating it up to 200 yesterday, yesterday so uh, I've set the oven to 250 today and uh, the headlight's been in the oven for about 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and uh, see if we can pull that lens off finally All right, so this is at about 10 more minutes at 275. Let's see if that made any difference. Let's try it. There we go. Oh, there's most of it.
Okay, so now I dug the lens off. Get all the blast out of it. Okay. So the next fun part is gonna be getting my glue up. Because I don't really want to reuse it. I'd rather use the new stuff that came with the new lens. might need to be reheated again. It's a lot easier to work with when it's actually warm. So back in we go.
you know, get as much of this stuff out as possible. Like I said before, I need room in here for the new glue. So, if we leave too much of the old stuff in, the new stuff won't have any space. It also probably won't stick very well because it'll just stick to the old glue as opposed to the plastic. In hindsight, I probably could have just paid my insurance deductible and we would have gotten a new headlight. Because the, uh, the cost of the new lens with shipping and everything it came out to about $200. And uh, my deductible is $300. So. Yeah, I think I should have just paid my insurance deductible and paid my insurance deductible. And I think I should have just paid my insurance deductible. So, I'm going to do this in the future. Consider that if you have insurance with a low enough deductible, you can just make the claim. But anyway, so for the most part, it looks like I've got. Uh, Obviously, we'll want to blow this thing out, get all this glue residue out of it. Because we want it to be nice and clean when we put the new lens on. But now we can actually test fit the new one before we put the glue in and uh, line up our tabs. So as I said before, you've got a bit of a larger ledge on top and a smaller one on the bottom. So the small, I mean the larger ledge goes towards the top. So I think this is how we line up the notches. Just like that. So it fits just fine. Um, so now we need to get our glue in there, but before we do that, um, I'll go fire up my air compressor and I'll blow all this glue up. Um, and, what I, and then I'll give it a good wipe down, also wipe down the inside of the lens before I put it on. So, we want this thing as clean as possible. So we've got our headlight blown off nice and clean here. This is the new tape that came with the, uh, the new lens. So this stuff, I forget what it's called, there's a name for it, but anyway. Um, I think we'll just probably just lay it in here. It seems to fit in pretty good. And I think then what we're supposed to do is we put it back in the oven, we warm it up. And then we put our lens on, and that way the glue is nice and soft, and the lens will go on properly. Because we want this to be uh, sealed as well as possible, because we don't want any leaks, obviously. I'll try not to drop your headlight off the counter when you're doing this. And as I mentioned before, you really want to clean all the old stuff out because if I didn't, this would not have any room to go in at all because it takes up the whole channel. So we'll get a, a knife or a pair of scissors and then we'll cut it off.
want too much in here because it'll expand. So just like that should be perfect. We've got it all in here. So now we'll put it put it back in the oven and uh, let this glue warm up. So we've got lots of extras. I don't know if we have to use it again, but good to have, I guess. And in the meantime, while it's warming up, we'll clean that lens up. So now the headlight's been in the oven for a little bit. Um, the glue should be nice and warm. So we'll go ahead and pull it out and uh, get ready to put our lens on. Try this, so we want to do it right. The inside looks pretty clean. I think I'll give it another wipe. A dirty lens on. Nobody would probably ever notice, but I, I would know it's there. Okay, so this is the bottom of our headlight with the where the running light goes. So we take our top part like so, and we line up our notches. warm still. I think what I'll do is I'll just flip it over and then I can push down on it. Apply, try to apply even pressure. Make sure our notches are still all good. down which probably what I'll do so I'll get a couple clamps 
and clamp it so it doesn't separate as it cools. But now we've got a new lens on our headlight. So grab a couple clamps, clamp it down, and then let it cool off and we'll be good to go. All right, so I've got the headlight pulled back together here. Um, I've reattached the ballast, put the bolt back in, put the little daytime running light back in. So we've got our new lens on, so now we can go ahead and uh, reinstall it. Okay, so I've got the, the two screws in on the bottom. So now we can uh, get our top tabs in. Take down our screws. And we'll put our the rest of our grill screws back in. And that's that. 
You could have also, if you wanted to, while you have the lenses off, you could actually paint the insides of these headlights black and kind of make them look like the Brabus headlights. I think, like from what I've seen, those Brabus ones, that's exactly what they do. They're the same as the stock headlights. They're just painted black on the inside. And I think they charge like $4,000 for them or something crazy. So, I mean, for this, um, you could easily, even if you break the old lens, you can get a new lens. Um, but if you heat it up enough, you should be able to get the original lens off without damaging it. So if you wanted to black your, the inside of your headlights out, this is the same video you would use. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll have more videos coming.